Because <laughs> Riku was just chilling there in that cutscene. Oh, it looks like the quest goes on. Maybe I need to see in Calling 9 where you set up shop. And stuff. Can I see this affinity scene? Oh, I don't even have to hold it this time. I just tap it. Hello. What's this giant rock? It's a sarcophagus. A stone coffin. Contained within is a body. A, a husk, I mean. A husk? Are you serious? Isn't it a bit large for a single husk? Nobody said it was for a human. <gasps> what say we leave it the hell alone? He's a little bit late for that. Yeah, he definitely is. I won't deny that. I want to explore this cave a little bit first before I uh, over to Colony 9 stuff. <laughs> yeah, I won't deny it. I mean, look at him now. Look at the guy. I'll play Rex for a little while now. <laughs> That's what I can do. Is this the same cave that I saw on the... It totally is. I opened that container there. I was like, yeah, I'm going to explore this cave another time, I think. Well, I finally explored the cave. All right, let's head for around the storage area then. There's another quest that I can accept from over there. Had a funny thought of Riku running at insane speeds like no one using the Lucky 7 sword. He has like Jin-like or N-like super speed. Just zooming around. Why French confuse? This is trademark ability of Riku. Uh, all right. Old Ether Furnace. It's literally the old Ether Furnace. Xenoblade 1. This is where you initially crafted gems before you got the portable Ether Furnace. Xenoblade 1. Who do you think would win Jin or N? Jin freaking N just forgets how to use his super speed the moment that his cat girl's taken away from him. This contraption's caught your eye, has it? Ah, uh, yes. Someone mentioned before that it's not in working order. I was just thinking, maybe if you replaced a few of the parts, it might be possible to get it running again. Now you mention it, if we got this thing working again, We'd be able to process gems to a higher degree of purity. And if we could incorporate the tech into our portable version, it might be a huge step for us. Can't knock a good gem setup when you're in a scrap. If we can get them powered up, I say we go for it. Agreed. Given the opportunity, it'd be a good investment of our time. Shall we give it a go, then? Yes, sir. I don't see anything immediately wrong with it from the exterior. We could start by replacing some of the internal mechanisms. It might be the heat regulator that's malfunctioning. It's what raises the gem purity. I see your point. Let's look into it. Alright, the derelict ether furnace. It's literally the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 ether furnace in Colony 9. Unbelievable. Well, is it one where I need to just give items? We try swapping out these parts. Yeah. I, uh, oh, but I need a lot more stuff, so I'll worry about it later. Yeah. Jin is quite the gal stealer. He'll steal your bish when you're not looking. Um, anyway, maybe not the best phrasing there, but it was the first thing that came to mind and it cracked me up. So, you know, there was that. So, uh, and that's kind of N's weakness. So, you know, Jin's trademark ability kind of counters N. So let's face it, Jin would win. Let's be real here. All right. Oh, that's cute. Bobby's shop is now open. Shop with an extra P at the end because we're fancy here. Because we're not barbarians. Bodyguards, welcome. All in one. Welcome to shop of Bobby. See? Told you we'd drop by. So, it's a big game plan. We're going to settle in Colony 9 for a while. That's the idea. Bobby also hope friends become regular shopaholics here. I guess we should buy something while we're here. Eh, but we forgot to explain key detail. A shop of Bobby. Money, not object of monetary value. Money's not. Ah. But Bobby rather plays stock in trading of Nuppon medals. Nuppon medals? You mean like this one? Oh, ho, ho. hit like friend read mind of Bobby. Nuppon medal is coinage of precious rarity scattered throughout the world. Is Nuppon Caravan right of passage to collect Nuppon medals and become full-fledged business pawn? Only then is when we actually begin with performance of money-making. Is Caravan tradition? So, it's kind of like an exam, then. Exam, yes. 
to reframe Bobobi in more sympathetic light. Cannot return home until rite of passage complete. That's enough about Bobobi. If friends amass enough Nupon medals, merchandise beyond wireless streams await. Ah, oh, get him to you, mate. Ain't got much use for him otherwise, innit? Bobby will let you exchange your Nupon medals for extravagant prizes. Okay. Nupon medals needed accepted. Uh. Okay. We completed that quest. Bobby's bad, bad day. But Bobby has set up shop in Colony 9. Bring him any Nupon medals and he'll gladly take them off your hands. I got a unicorn scarf and a black belt. I have one of those in real life. If you happen to find any Nupon medals on your travels across the world, you can trade them at Bobobi's shop and call you nine for some special reward items. Items that you can obtain at Bobobi's shop have the ability to increase the effect of your amulet bonuses. Amulet? I want. I have amulets? What do you mean amulet bonuses? Alright, Lamar just covered 7 out of 8 there. Yeah. Worth a shot, I suppose. Apparently so. So I just looked at Xenoblade 2 recently and saw the whole driver and blade thing. I made you wonder why it didn't transfer to this game or at least mention it to some extent. Well, this world, this combination has like its own kind of set of rules and it does apply ideas of blades like the uh, regeneration cycle over and over again with you losing your memories each time. The fact that there's like all the core crystals in origin that kind of regulate that. All the characters summoning their weapons like the blades from Xenoblade 2. So... Even though it's not mentioned, because there's probably not a lot of characters that would remember this wor that world within this world, um, the properties of blades are applied onto the majority of the populace within this world. Yeah, the memory forgetting element, the blade summoning element, and like the uh, life cycle thing for Bob that's all being run from like the data stored in the uh, blade core crystals in Origin. So I've had a funny thought, what if Rex had a fourth daughter and it was Banana and Tor is the mother? I mean, Rex certainly got around and stuff. Also, something that I was thinking about earlier in the stream, thinking about wacky things there. Um, it was mentioned that Niall was Matthew's sister. And it hasn't been mentioned here yet whether she's, like, his blood sister or, you know, if they're unrelated since, you know, she's Gormadi and he's, uh, you know, human and stuff. But considering their great-great, their great-grandparents were Noah and Mio, and, you know, Noah was a human, and Mio was a flesh-eater, um, Gormati, then I guess it would make sense if they were blood-related. Maybe whenever a kid happens, it's like a 50-50 chance if they're gonna be, like, Gormati, flesh-eater, or human after that, considering the kid that Noah and Mio had was, you know, human-looking there with Gondor, with Grandad, so maybe they are blood-related, but if Mio is Nia and Rex's daughter, then does that mean that Niall is uh, Rex's great, great grandkid? I mean, same with Matthew now that I think about it. In that case. Because I don't know if, if it was ever for sure mentioned within Xenoblade 3 whether Mio was the kid of Nia and Rex, but it seemed to be implied. And if that's the case, that would make Matthew and Niall Rex's great, great grandkids, right? Right? The heck is that up there? Whoa. That's cool. Anyway, so there's that thought. I don't know why I only applied it to Niall before, not, uh, not Matthew as well. Uh, any child that is male and has black hair is Xenoblade 1 and every female character with white hair is Cormani Xenoblade 2. <laughs> Even though they came from parents of, you know, one of each there. The case. When we ha when have collected enough on medals, please to come again. But we'll be waiting. I thought I had some. Why not? I don't. Guess I do not. It seems like there's one more quest on the map here somewhere. Oops. What's there? Yeah, over there. Sure, I'll go accept it and stuff. Don't think I'm doing this Ether Furnace one unless I collect a whole lot of collectibles. And stuff. So you feel from them with black hair and I'll single male from them with white hair. But still, is Matthew and Niall Rex's great, great grandkids. You're old, man. 
Or old dude. Dylan, what do you want from me? Dylan, you son of a gun. Oh, Matt. Hi, Matthew. Wait a sec. Mickey? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm tired to see ya. Mate, this is wild. Last I saw you, you were thin as a rake. Yeah, well, I kept my training like you told. Kept, kept, bleh, kept up my training like you told me. Never miss a single day. <laughs> Always the perfectionist. Good on you. Glad to see you're the same old Mickey. Oh, what's the goss? Only an old. Don't leave an old pal out in the cold. Uh, yeah, about that. Uh oh, that sounded serious. Bad time for jokes. Maybe. It's just that we've got a bit of an issue on our hands. Some kids went out to look for some food supplies around Tefra Hill and haven't come back. They're supposed to be done by now. Me and Mickey were thinking of heading out to search for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want me to do the uh, Mickey voice specifically of this guy who had the same thought? It's not the first time this has happened, though. We might be worrying for nothing. I'll go with you, then. The more irises looking out, the better, yeah? With you there. You don't want to go away thinking you could- Wait. You don't want to go away thinking you could have done more. Thanks, Rex. It means a lot. Sorry for roping you lot into this. Don't worry about it, mate. What are friends for? We really appreciate the help, don't we, Dylan? That's right. Better head out sharpish, then. Try to keep up, Mickey Mick. I'm not slowing you down. Not today. <laughs> well... Hunt for the kids! Oh, of course it'd be for the kids if uh, Mickey Mouse is one of the ones that's, uh, <laughs> that's here giving this quest. It's a, it's a hunt for the kids. Hey kids, would you like to come along on a hunt? <laughs> My goodness gracious. At the wonderful magic of Disney World, I mean Tifra Hill. We'll be able to get a hunt for the kids. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> forgot they named it that. The hunt for the kids. <laughs> like, I assume it means, like, we're hunting to find where the kids got off to. But it's funny to imagine that Mickey Mouse has sponsored, like, a hunt for the kids. <laughs> Forget Smash Ultimate X, some game that it crosses over with. Get ready for Mickey Mouse X Cabela's. <laughs> the crossover of the century. My god. <laughs> what an epic crossover that'd be. <laughs> My goodness, never thought I'd see the day. Ever shot a gun? <laughs> well, my goodness gracious. Hmm. Seeing any kids around. Ah, uh, the Colony 9 night theme. I got too distracted by Mickey there that I wasn't listening to the Colony 9 night theme. So nice. Look, Bessie Husk. You think the kids got caught up in a skirmish and had to run? Unlikely. If there had been an incident, I expect to see agony and husks too. I swear, if you do like a Zeke Pandoria pose at some point, I'd lose my mind. Uh, what do we think went on here? Matthew! Dylan! Over here! <laughs> Look! Footprints! And it looks like some of them might belong to the kids! Ho -ho! Hey, nice sleuthing, Mickey. These other tracks, though. Doesn't look great, does it? Let's get moving. Right! Yeah. We need to pick up the pace. Did you hear about that dragon animatronic from Fantasia? I don't even know what Fantasia is. Turn on fire and burn down in the middle of the show? No. I have not heard of that. And, uh... Technically, it's canon to smash swords from Kingdom Hearts and Mickey Mouse is in that game, too. And hey, because uh, Rex and Pyra and Mithra exist in Smash, though, Rex is just a top. But Pyra and Mithra, at least, and all of them canonically exist within the universe of Smash. You know, they they have crossed over with uh, <laughs> with Sora from Kingdom Hearts, which means that they could canonically <laughs> run into Mickey Mouse. Though, you know, I don't think Smash is canon. Fog Beasts! Fog beasts, exactly what I was saying. So they just directly call them fog beasts within this. Interesting. No way. These are fog beasts? Yeah, I ran into some of them with that rift and they kicked my ass. Demon! 
open things. <laughs> oh my god, I need a cough after that one. <laughs> well, jeez. Okay, that was not good for me. Um, don't freak out, Mickey. We can rinse these things. You know it. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I guess I'll try. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it feels almost like they have more of a physical form in this game than they did in Fuser, Future Connected. Like, they're still kind of foggy. They're still fog beasts. But they're more... Like, they have more of a physical form and less fog than in Future Connected. Except for the fog beasts that were just corrupted actual living things, that is. No exception to that. But, uh, anyway. Let's see here. Um, Zeke is your favorite character in the entire series. Always has been, always will be. How cool would it be to see his kiddo there? Like, that's obviously his kiddo, right? Um, do the poses and stuff. You lot think you can lick the three of us? Three of you? I count two. Lost someone. Oh, have yet to introduce our beloved mascot. Turtles, reveal yourself. Turtles, Turtles, where are you, boy? Turtles! <laughs> oh, man. I might actually lose this. Gosh dang it. I lost both my healers. I've lost. Whoops. I can retry. Maybe see if I can do this quest at this point. But yeah, let's see here. I love that the group of enemies has the exact same animation. What, the fog beasts and stuff? Or is there JoJo inspired? You think they could well be? I wouldn't be surprised. Come on. Get him with the double spinning edge. Ooh, anchor shot, topple him. <laughs> oh man, doing that Mickey voice really killed me. Holy crap. I am still not fully recovered from COVID. And it's showing. Man, I, um. Might not be able to do this at this point. Maybe not. Lumber's supposed to go down. He's supposed to go down too, though. Yeah, I might not be doing this one at this point. Can't see me before the fight went showed the enemies for five I seconds. The animation's there. I might have bonus experience, though. Fair. Um, I can see if I can win with that. Because do the side quests actually directly give me experience, or is it just bonus experience? I think it's just bonus experience, right? And I've been doing a whole bunch of side quests, so like... You know, yeah, I can level up. Look at this. What level can I get to? 32. Okay. I'll just go up three levels. All right, let's go kick those fog beast butts now. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely be strong enough for when we do the story content next stream. Um, Zed's so just big chilling, I guess. Oh my goodness, it's been a little while since I saved. Let's skedaddle. Oh, I'm back at this area again. Unless I'm wrong. So is this whole world like? There's not a single loading zone or anything like that. This DLC world is just one big interconnected thing. That's pretty cool. I mean, it would be as big as the world of Xenoblade 3 main game, but, you know, one big interconnected thing of a decent size. It's still pretty cool. You know, that's still pretty neat. Oh? Well, I guess I don't need a topple. Get launched, nerd. Get launched. I'm sure Zed is just, like, watching his home movies in this theater like he likes to do, you know? That's kind of the thing that he likes to do and all that. You know, that is how it goes for him. Surely I can do it at this point, right? Probably perfectly balanced as all things should be. Am I even helping you up? The thing is gone. Okay, good. I was. I wasn't 100% sure. I wasn't really showing it. Okay, come on, please. Please. I mean, I've already seen him along with N in the theater in one brief cutscene earlier in this. Saw him watching his movies and all that. You know, I'll do the Ryan time emote to get the Xenoblade 1 1 in there. Would there be enough space for text that says Ryan time that, like, says it clear enough within the space of an emote? Would it be able to be clear enough, I wonder? Because that's a bit more text than is in any of the other ones. I'm sure let's do this for funsies. Vision, Monado time. Time for the Monado. How about... Let's give it a go. Interesting to have a Monado wielder in the healer role for the first time. I think, right? I'm fairly certain you're the first Monado wielder in a healer role. I'm not going to get my chain attack, so let's just finish you off with this. 
is what we can do. Just go ahead and do that. Yeah, I love how he combines the swords. Yeah, I guess I could do this quest at this point. It's all right. You're safe now. Can you move? Yeah. That was so scary. We were very brave. You just let us take care of everything from here on, okay? Fog beast. That was about the last thing I expected. Damn, am I glad you came along now, Matt. Yeah, all good. Kids are safe, and that's what matters here. Sorry, Matthew. I fell apart when you needed me most. You've never seen a fog beast before, right? I don't blame you. Things are pretty freaky. So, you fight monsters like that on top of Mobius. So why are there no actual direct fog beasts, but then Xenoblade 3? What the heck? I think I need to, to really start getting a grip. Do something that matters to people. Like an amusement park where people can find joy. Maybe then, if I try hard enough, I'll be strong enough to save your bacon for a change. Well, here you go, Mickey boy. If anyone can do it, you can, my man. <coughs> Doing that voice makes me need a cough. Holy crap. Hey, Mickey. Why don't you stop daydreaming about your future self and finish the task at hand first? Oh, right. I'll do that. <laughs> you guys can relax now. Me and Mickey will get the kids home. Besides, I think you've got your own business to take care of, right? Do that. At least we know those scamps are in good hands. Safe journey home, yeah? Alright. There we go. Quest complete. The party kept the fog beast at bay and let the children come to no harm. Our trusty friend and his junior will take care of things from here. I got an oh, art unlock kit. You'll love to see it. Just got a gif of a clock going around with a tick moving around and each hour just put Ryan's face. I don't think you'd be able to clearly see that it's a face. It just looked like a dot in an emote format. It'd be way too small. You know? Armo, you said you couldn't relax. Don't have to do the voice anymore. <laughs> My, oh my. I'm super over leveled for this. Let's get the affinity points from the. Whatever the heck they are. May as well while I'm here. You know, but it'll probably wrap the stream here pretty shortly. I think I've done all the side quest stuff that I can do. You know, stuff like this is probably fair game to do off camera. The, uh, you know, fighting dudos like this and getting the points from them, right? Right, probably. If I can bring that guy into battle. No. I could have done that one-handed. One yeah. But where are the other ones, though? Yeah. Oh, down there. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Look, more affinity points. Sweet. Oh man, that really broke me. Yeah, I'll wrap up the stream here pretty shortly and get some rest. Still not fully recovered, but getting there. Where are you going, eh? Into the bushes, I guess. Over in there. Can I get you in battle before the battle ends? Sweet. Double spinning edge. Do it. Do what? Call the stream and get some rest? That have been going for a while. Shoot me now for close to six and a half hours. Almost the runtime that I have thus far of the Scarlet and Violet video essay. Except a bit shorter. Well, I don't know where the last dudo is. Unless it just wants me to harvest this. Something or other. I- Oh, you just spawned in. Okay. Well, let's get my points. Let me get my points here. That'd be good to do. But yeah, our level's going up. We're getting into a pretty good position. I was what? Like level 19, early level 20s? When I was just before that Agnian camp? Now my level's really good. You know? Probably zoom through a whole bunch of stuff at this point. Is probably the case. But, uh, you know, I'll probably get some more affinity points anyway. Before the next time, go to the Calling on Camp. Bye, love you, have a good night, hope you feel better. See you next time or whatever. Thank you for suffering with me by doing the Mickey voice. You're amazing. Okay, bye. <laughs> I do appreciate you stopping by and hanging out, Guzma. Everyone that tuned into this set of shenanigans, let me clean here real quick stuff um do i have enough things for any upgrades here um paint board. oh i can do key item sensor i'm sure it can detect key items notifying you with sound and light sure oh, there we go 
Two more, and then I have that maxed. It's almost there. Pretty nice. Um, what kind of gems do I have? <laughs> what, you're worried that I might misinterpret it? Something there. Uh, critical hit damage. Oh, Rex might like that. I have lots of gemstones. I could probably... It doesn't go all the way up to 10. It goes up to 5 in the DLC. Okay. Main game, it goes up to 10. Okay. I'm probably not going to be getting up to that at this point. I could probably get Arden Horns. Might be worth looking into where I can get some of these things. And, uh, track them down and yoink them. Stuff. Um, buff effects issued self. But, yeah. <laughs> Worried that she's going to misinterpret. Do that one even. Oh, I could do that one even. Your gemstone. Huh. Cause yeah, I, ugh, I, I, I could say that I could be on the lookout for some of these materials, look them up and stuff. But you know, knowing me, I probably wouldn't actually do that. I'd probably wait until uh, you know, I have access to the strongest enemies and can make stupid level five things. You know. Oh look, there's a portable ether furnace. Single blade one. Just like the regular ether furnace is here too. Um, after that side quest, do I have enough for... Yeah, I do. With level 33. Wow. Uh, that's worked up a good sweat. Yeah, my level's looking pretty good. Hey, look! The real Monado versus the fake Monado. Cool. Alright, I'm saving. Alright. Eight and a half hours. Alright. Now we got some good progress in the game. Pretty nice. Look at Shulk with his kid over there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, wrap up the stream and stream here. Thanks everyone who tuned in for another session of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 here. Next time, we'll keep on trekking on with the story and see what comes of it. Also, hold on, before I go, look at all these dudos, but gosh dang it, right as I switch over. I'm about to say, look at all these dudos doing like animation loops of doing some sort of activity. And then Rex is just standing there being the Chad that he is. Look! <laughs> Everyone else is, like, occupied with something. Rex is content just standing there. Menacingly! Or maybe more like hotly here. Man, he's so hot. Anyway, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. See ya!